the road. So a new day up to a new location. I'm, uh, yeah, we're gonna get to the Almeria region today. So it's uh, tomato, tomato, Grand Central, Central, uh, Motril. That's on the sign here. That's the town we're going uh, to end up near. So uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I did not film much yesterday. Yesterday we just uh, yeah did some little chores and uh, walked uh, along the along the boulevard and uh, sat down at a little bar. Na and, one uh, kilometer, so, name on the rotonde, yeah. the first afslag. So I did not film much, but what I filmed yesterday, I'll put in now, and then we're uh, continuing with a new day. Yeah, is that? While uh, traveling on the A7, it's uh, the highway parallel to the to the coast. Sometimes I can see the coast to my right between the hills, uh, but the highway is, then is close to the coast and is a bit farther away. But uh, while traveling, I thought I might, um, yeah. Um, give you guys a little bit more insight in uh, this trip uh, and how I'm traveling and the traveling with Julie and Richard and uh, my view on plants and their lack of uh, having plants or whatever so uh, I really uh, want to take you back back to yeah I started this trip the 20th of September uh, traveled through France uh, heading for Toulouse because that was yeah, let's say in the middle of the Pyrenees, heading in, heading straight to the middle of the Pyrenees. And when I got there, I decided which route to go, uh, depending on the weather, solely depending on the weather. Because that was my only goal was I want to go to South for the weather, staying nice weather. So, uh, getting closer to Toulouse, I checked the weather on the Mediterranean coast where it was still like 40 plus temperatures it's way too hot for me and I checked the Atlantic side and that was like 2025 and that is perfect temperature for me so I decided to head to the north side of Spain the Atlantic coast and um, travel along the Atlantic coast just before I did that I came across Richard and Julie uh, met them at a campsite in France uh, just had a chat and always parted again and we both traveled independently from each other uh, along the north side of uh, Spain I stayed more on the coast they stayed more on the inland because they in uh, inland because they thought the weather was better there I had a little bit of rain like at uh, as you can remember at the Playa de Catedrales where the cathedral beach so I had some rain there and the day after and uh, yeah but uh, and they had quite good weather more inland so uh, but then uh, we were in uh, Acarunya and we met up and uh, yeah we had a lot of fun uh, together moved on to a campsite uh, off the coast because of the shit weather uh, in that region we um, we uh, like you yeah when you've seen the videos you know that we bunged out for about five days in uh, Guterres it was a little spot where there was free electricity and uh, a little village and we had some uh, walking uh, possibilities and stuff uh, 
so uh, yeah, we we we, um, we bunked down there and uh, set out the rain at that moment. That was five days of almost straight rain, and then uh, the weather was fine again, and we travelled south with the intention to head through Portugal. But when we came closer to um, the Spanish Portuguese border, it turned out that uh, from there on, like a week and a half almost two weeks it would be shit weather in uh, in Portugal so uh, yeah we talked about that what we do we want to do and yeah my opinion was fairly clear on theirs too we don't want to go to Portugal in the weather we don't need to be in Portugal just to say well we've been in Portugal we want to see stuff and when it's rainy yeah neither of us like it very much to just walk or bicycle around in the rain so we said no we don't want to do it and checking out the Spanish side of the border it turned out that that was quite good weather on the Spanish side so it was easy and just stay on the Spanish side head down towards the Mediterranean and we had fairly good weather so uh, we did that and it was uh, a good decision for us and uh, yeah uh, so since then I've been traveling with Julian Richard their route was about the same going counterclockwise around the Iberic Island up to their plan was to head for Barcelona and uh, my plan the only plan I had or um, thing I had was I have to be back in the Netherlands by December 12th so as of today you watching this video it's still a month and within that month I have to be back in the Netherlands so as long as our um, travel parts on the same route we like each other's company um, we do stuff together we have a lot of fun together so uh, yeah we travel together and uh, I like that very much and I presume they like my company too because else they would have traveled on by themselves so uh, no that that's nice we help each other with, with chores and things to fix and yeah uh, yeah it's a, they are a very good company and I already know that on this trip I I earn two more friends it's not just this trip I'm gonna meet up with them after this trip too so uh, I, I know like I know uh, last year with Mike I'm sure I'm gonna see Mike again he's he sent me a text that he's gonna be out in Spain he's leaving like the UK about half of November so I hope to see him uh, in the Alicante region when we get there and then uh, there's a Dutch couple, Rene and Sharon, I know they are in Spain too. They are now are between Valencia and Alicante, so I would love to meet up with them. And uh, yeah, I like doing that. And uh, further, there uh, are no plans. I don't plan anything because I notice very early getting into this lifestyle. It doesn't, don't waste your time making plans as in I want to see this and I want to be there at th that moment because you're going to lose out on so much other stuff when you do that just go with the flow and see where and like it's for me it's a full time thing so what I don't see now and want to see and I'll go on a future trip I, I don't worry about that it's just yeah so yeah as long as um, our roads um, are on the same direction I'll keep traveling with Julian Richard and uh, yeah I know I've got to say goodbye to them uh, in a few weeks because then I've got to head back uh, through France to the Netherlands and uh, and they uh, they don't so uh, yeah but that's uh, yeah a bit of an insight uh, so I'm uh, I hope to see Mike uh, in the Alicante region and then I hope to see Rene and Sharon right after or before or at the same time, I don't know, it depends on their travel speed. Uh, five and, uh, neem de afslag yeah. 202 but then, uh, you know, uh, and I'll probably stay in Spain as long as possible because the weather is probably better here and then travel through France like in a week or something. So uh, early December I uh, am going to leave uh, Spain probably. But that's how we look at it now and like I say plans can change within a few minutes. So uh, something might happen today that changes all yeah, the things I'm 
planning to do or, or whatever so uh, yeah so that's a little insight on this uh, trip and how it's going and uh, because of some comments and uh, questions I got in, uh, in in the comments under the video so uh, yeah you know if you got more questions put them in there and uh, I'll get back to you We're gonna stop to do some uh, groceries, so we got off the highway to uh, here in the to uh, do some uh, groceries. Groceries for another uh, good week, ten days. Now we're uh, back on the road. to see that because I've got the, the app for the solar charge controller I can see even during driving what's going on with the panel and the battery and the well-lit uh, tunnels we're driving into a tunnel now I don't think this is a well-lit one let's see when we are in it uh, yeah yeah tunnel like this and uh, maybe a little bit better lit even but uh, and the uh, the, the panel just keeps on charging and uh, doesn't uh, stop of course only a little bit and not like being outside of the tunnel but it, it doesn't stop charging I'll check if it's in this tunnel too just a bit too dark but uh, yeah previous two they were uh, very bright and uh, just kept charging see the sea with a lot of tomato uh, greenhouses <laughs> the whole coastline this whole area is famous for its tomatoes so uh, yeah <laughs> looks a bit like this you will mostly see it on uh, like in the Netherlands when you buy tomatoes from Spain it's Almeria region Rechts afslaan. Oh yeah, the only bar we found, I must say, I must give them a big thumbs up Don Cactus Camping Bar Restaurant because we just ordered three beers and got sandwich, tuna fish sandwiches with chips. Now we order three other beers and we are having 
sandwiches with ham bagels with olives. So what do you think of that, guys? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll get back to you guys. Look at the waves now. Wind picked up.